<laughs> Welcome back to iPad 201. Um, this is going to be part two of iPad 201. In our first part, um, we talked about an app called Show Me. Um, and in this part, we're going to look at kind of an upgrade to Show Me that, would, that is called Explain Everything. Um, and so Show Me, we said you could use tomorrow in your classroom. You're good. You're good to go with it. It's easy to use. Make you a classroom champion. You'll be easy um, you know, to please your parents and your administrators. It's a great app. If you didn't watch that one, go back and look at part one. Part two, this part, is going to be over explain everything. Now, parts three and four, which will follow this, are going to be over Infuse Learning and Nearpod. So Infuse Learning is another app that you could use tomorrow in your classroom, and Nearpod's an upgrade to that. So let's look at explain everything today. So explain everything is essentially a intense version of show me. I like to refer to it as show me on steroids. Um, it's got so many more options and so many more tools. I have played with Explain Everything for a couple of years now, and I still learn new things every time I see it. So we're going to dig in and explain everything. Don't forget, you can scan this QR code on another device, or you can um, plug in this URL right here, and you can look at this note that we're looking at right here. Um, it's completely interactive for you as well. Let's go over to our iPad. All right, so here we are in Explain Everything. This is kind of the home screen. Uh, I've kind of cleared everything out of mind just so you'll be able to see it from scratch. So there's some buttons up here. This is to create a new document or a new presentation, I should say. This is to create a new presentation from another document, which we'll do in a minute. Um, and then these are your typical settings and those kinds of things. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to click on this plus sign. And we're going to just select the first template there. And now we're going to open, and just like it was in our, our Show Me that we just finished uh, in our part one of the series, you can draw on the screen, do whatever you want. Notice the colors down here. Okay, there's colors. I can switch. I can draw. I can do that. There's not just three colors. This is free colors for everyone. So any color of the rainbow, you can go around here. I can move these, get any color I want. Let's say I want that color purple. Notice it changed there. I'm good to go. I can keep it up there. If I like that purple, but I want to change this blue, I can just click there and choose a green. And now I have green. So all of these tools, um, all these colors are involved here. Whereas with Show Me, um, there was only that one set and you had to pay for more. Well, once you have Explain Everything, and Explain Everything is $2.99 right now on, in the App Store. But once you pay for it, all of this is included with Explain Everything. There's nothing to buy. There's no upgrades to it. It is the whole thing. You either have it all or you have none of it. Um, so explain everything uh, really useful. So we are currently on our draw tool. That's this tool right here. Um, and so if I go down here, I can click on the eraser tool and it says erase tool erase lines drawn in the draw tool. Tap and hold or double tap to set the size of the eraser. Now this is the same thing for all tools. If I hold down on the tool, it'll always bring up another set of tools and I can make it bigger. So if I want to erase real big like this, then I can use that one. Um, if I want to just erase everything on my screen, um, I want to go to where that X is now. I had to click off of it to get back to it. And now I can just delete everything off my screen. That simple. So going back to the pencil. So this was the original size of our pencil here, this green line. But if I hold down on the pencil, look at the options I have. So right now we, uh, we're using kind of a blurred tip. I want a clear tip and I want it to be big, the biggest I can get it. So here is that same line with the biggest tool. Kind of looks like a marker now, right? And it's got some clarity. Notice that there's a little blurring over here. Well, this is crisp lines on top of it. So this is our drawing tool. It can do anything you'd want it to do. Um, if you like to draw and write, um, maybe your hair is like me and you can't even read that says James in cursive. You have some issues with, um, you know, the writing there. Then what you want to do is use this text tool. Here's a text tool right here. So click there once, tap on the screen, Type away, Jamie Lachlan. There we go. Click that green check mark right there. It'll leave it there. Now I can click on it and I can move it around. I can put it anywhere I want. If I want to edit or change this now, all I need to do is, is touch on it here and I can move it around like I said earlier. And then if I double tap on it, now I can type in it again. Uh, if I'm good like it is, maybe I want this box to be bigger or I want the box to take up less space, I can click there. And now we are good to go. Again, just like I said earlier, if I just hold down on this A, look at the option changes I get. So now I can actually change the fonts. Look at all these beautiful fonts that are available. And the list just keeps going. 
literally I am just scrolling away. Look at all of these. So um, let's just choose this one just for the sake of the example. Um, font size, I can go up and down. I can even turn a border on to the shade of my box. So um, there's all kinds of things you can do. I'm good, let's, let's leave the border on and I'll go here. I'm gonna tap there for my box and I'm gonna type my name again. Oh, look how pretty. Jamie Lachlan, Ooh, it even auto-corrected for me. There you go. So now I'm gonna click this, notice my box stays, I'm there. Um, I have what I want. Um, when I look at it, I want it to be centered. So I'm gonna click right here at the top. See, there's the left center and right justify. All of these options are there. Now I can just move this where I want it to be. So lots and lots of options. This is just drawing and adding text. So this is kind of cool. Um, so we, we've only done use two of the tools, but there's so much more you can do. If you look here, there's a shape drawing tool. So if I click on it and then I click over here, I get an arrow. Um, if I click here and then hold down on it, now I want to turn, maybe that, maybe I want no border and I want the shadow off. And maybe I, I need a circle. So here we go. I'm going to draw a circle. Notice my circle is green. Why is my circle green? Because down here I have the green option. So let's go to purple and now draw oh, purple and then go back. And now I'm going to have a purple circle. If I want to undo those, I just click over here at the undo button and away they go. I'm going to undo all of them and clear my screen again. Okay, so lots of options in on here. The, one of the cool things about this, if you look down here, um, it says slide one of one. If I click the plus button right here, I'm going to get a new slide. So I could have something here on slide one, and maybe I have just a, oh, I don't know, my name. Let's click on the pencil. Jamie. And maybe slide two, I want to be my last name, Lachlan. So now I have two different slides, and if I go back and forth on them, um, you can see them. Um, and the cool part about this, remember when we were looking at Show Me in part one, when we record on um, a screencast on Show Me, it's a one-shot deal. If I mess it up, I'm done. Not the case with Explain Everything. I'm gonna click on my record button, and notice how the timer starts right here. And so maybe I'm just doing an introduction to myself. Hi, I'm Jamie. So glad you meet with us. My last name is Lachlan. And uh, notice that when I started here, the timer started over. So I have a new timer on each slide. Okay, so if you notice down here um, where the timer is, if I, uh, I have two different times, 17 seconds on this one. And if I go back over to slide one, 10 seconds. So each slide gets its own time. So if I click right here on the time, here we go, I click on the time. Now, as you can see, there are two sections. There's one on top and one on bottom. The one on bottom is for recording my voice. The one on top is if I did any annotations. And so let me re-record over this slide so you can see what it does. So if, if I wanted to say record, start my recording again from three seconds, so maybe I like this part. And right there is where I want it to start re-recording, right? I want to uh, record over that. Well, I can just start recording there and it'll split it. Or I can go ahead and use the actual tools. You can see I can set a mark, split, delete, or delete all clips to the end. So I can delete everything in front of it. I'm gonna split the clip. So now, you see I have two different video clips there, or sound clips there. So now from right here, I'm gonna delete the rest of that in front of there. And here we go. So now I wanna re-record over this, starting from this point, and I'm gonna use some annotations. So it's, um, it's recording here now, I'm adding to this recording. And if I use this little tool right here, this has kind of got a red dot on it, so you can see that the dot traces over. Um, and I can kind of point out things and talk over the, over the recording at the same time. If I hold down on this little button, notice all the options I get. My students love these three right here. Um, and so I didn't even realize it existed, they showed it to me. So if I choose one of those, now when I go out to my pointer, it's kind of fun, it is now a laser pointer. So my students love to use the laser pointer. All right, so if I pause my recording here and I pull up my um, timer feed here again, you can see now, as I go back over time, you see the motion I was just doing. And so I can edit one or the other. If I wanna lock the audio, but get rid of my little motion pointer, um, and then I can do that. I can lock the audio right here, just by tapping on it. I can lock the other one too if I wanted to. Uh, but this is what I want to delete. So if I just hold down on it, 
delete, and it's gone. My audio, though, stays. Unlock my audio, and there I can still continue to record. Um, so maybe I want to get rid of that one, too. Again, lock the audio. Tap the one on top. Delete. And, yes, I can delete it. So, cool features. You can edit. There's all kinds of things you can do on this. I haven't even shown you what I think are the two coolest features, which I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to go over here to a new slide. So we're going to go to, say, slide three. And so on slide three, I want to show you one of the cooler features I think this has to offer. So we are going to click over here on our plus sign right here. And now you can see all the different um, media files you can insert. But my favorite one, I mean, you can do sounds, pictures, videos, existing videos, photos, things you have in your camera roll. Uh, but my favorite one is this one, new browser. So no one has created yet a version of an app on the iPad that can truly let you screencast what you're seeing on your screen unless you use a computer and reflector and several other things like I'm doing right now. But if you just wanted to be able to record on from your screen, then this is the way you would do that. Um, so um, I have pulled up just CNN.com, but this is a browsing window that I can Say I'm recording a video for students, and if I'm over here on um, slide one doing or two doing an introduction, and I get over here. So I continue to use this and it'd be a part of my presentation. So I'm just going to double tap on the window to make it active. It's going to live reload, so it doesn't matter when I do this. Um, I live reload it, then I can scroll through and I can read through some of the stories. Unfortunately, these are pretty bad stories going on right now. So many bad things that uh, seem to be happening in our world, um, but. Here is a, a file, it might be on the ESPN anchor who gave a great powerful speech um, at the ESPYs last night. Um, and so I can click on there, pull it up, and here is the live window. There's Stuart Scott accepting his uh, award for courage at the ESPYs, and I can go through and use this. So this is something that students can, you can show them in the video. You can screencast from here using this window. So the, this is a cool feature. The best feature, though, I think, for, for teachers who have been around for a while, is the ability to import files into uh, your explain everything. So I'm gonna jump back out. I'm gonna actually hit this home button right here. And um, I don't need this project, so I don't wanna save it, save it. So right now, when I go here and click on the little document add, now it gives me options. So the cool thing with explain everything is you can import from a lot of different options. Um, we got photos, iTunes, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, and people are like, wow, that's a lot. Well, click this little arrow right here, and you're going to discover there's even more places you can import from. So my favorite thing to do, though, is to, on using my Dropbox, um, you can import PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints, and PowerPoint is the real big one, because that's the one that a lot of veteran teachers, we have PowerPoints that we just want to spruce up a little bit. Well, we can go through and we can bring in some of those PowerPoints for us. Go in here, and I want Computer Lab. There we go. Now we've got our PowerPoint file. So let's, so let's pull in this one right here, Acceptable Use Policy. Um, oh, let's do dress code. I like dress code better. So notice I can pull in an old PowerPoint or a new PowerPoint file. It doesn't matter. I'm going to pull in dress code PowerPoint. Just tap on it. First thing it's going to do is open up a preview of each slide. So if I scroll up and down, I can see... A preview of the slides. Um, notice like there's a big dot here. Animations don't transfer over so you just have to go through and edit it but it's fine. We'll click choose because this is the one I want. Now it's going to load my PowerPoint into Explain Everything. So each slide, if you'll keep your eyes right here, each slide will become its own slide in Explain Everything. So when it finishes, there we go. Four slides equal four slides in Explain Everything. Um, so now I can go through and I could actually record over this if I wanted to um, and even just do live annotation if I wanted. If I wanted to use our little back to our pointer again, um, if I wanted to use this and maybe um, this arrow here and make sure that kids understand, hey, there are no logos allowed on your shirt or there's no short or long sleeves uh, or you can wear short or long sleeves, but it's got to be tucked in always. So I can kind of use this as an annotator on over the top of it. And I can record through Explain Everything and make this a video online for anyone to watch. Very cool feature, importing PowerPoint slides. So there's your basics of Explain Everything. Um, once you are done with your videos, you can export. So we're going to go over here. 
Um, and when we click on these options, you can send it to camera roll, to mail, a PDF, to iBooks. Obviously, you can't send a movie to iBooks, but you could send it as a PDF. Well, there's the more option um, if you want to export an image. If you want to export as a movie, well, then your options are YouTube, camera roll, or more. Um, more is where kind of the power of this comes. All these places I can send it to. I can send it as a fi video file, PDF, image, or project. I like to send things to my Dropbox. Um, send them there. Put it there. Click export, and it'll send for you. It's a great, great, great feature. So that is explain everything. Stay tuned. Part three is in another video. Uh, part three, we're going to move away from our screencasting options more into interacting with your class. So we're going to look at it infused learning first in part three, and then we'll end with Nearpod in part four. Um, so join us again for iPad 201 part three and four coming up.